Hey everyone, welcome back to the AWS Cloud Demos. My name is Murli and I'm a AWS Solution Architect. So in today's video, we will talk about a Amazon LightSail. Um, so uh, basically, uh, what is Amazon LightSail? So uh, we build applications and websites uh, pretty quickly and with a low cost and that too with a pre-configured cloud resources, right? Um, and there are some of the use cases like, you know, you can launch simple web applications using uh, the pre-configured development stacks. And we will see how um, we can use these pre-configured development stacks um, uh, with LAMP, Nginx, Mean, and there are a whole bunch of services uh, that you can use. We can see the list um, in the video. And uh, uh, create you can also create a custom websites like um, your personal websites, e-commerce, WordPress, and uh, et cetera. It's pretty easy to create in one click with a few button clicks and also you can spin up some test environments, build a small businesses. There are a whole bunch of use cases where you can use the Amazon light sale um, stuff. So in today's video, we will talk about how we create uh, light sale containers. Um, basically, in our previous uh, videos, if you are if you have already subscribed to my channel, you you would see there is a service called uh, AWS ACS, which we have created uh, for containers. And we have used the clusters. Uh, we have used uh, EC2 types. We have used Fargate types. Uh, there's a whole bunch of complexity around it but uh, if the people who want to choose simplicity and flexibility um, and also light cell comes up comes with uh, security as well um, so people who um, prefer simplicity i i believe amazon light cell is is for them who can use it and make sure it is um, it can spin up those servers uh, pretty quickly just by simple configuration okay so what is the difference between ECS and light cell containers? So light cell containers is designed for simplicity, um, like I said, and easy to use. It abstracts away many of the underlying complexities of AWS services, um, making it a great choice for developers who want to focus on coding their applications without dealing with incre uh, intricacies of managing cloud infrastructure, right? Um, so coming to ECS, Amazon ECS provides more flexibility and control over the container orchestration it is better suited for experienced users who require advanced features and customizations ecs offers support for both ec2 and ecs aws fargate as we have discussed uh, giving the users the option to manage their own infrastructure or use a serverless compute engine right so that's the key difference between light cell containers and ecs containers also we have uh, we, you can also create databases you can create uh, instances it's totally up to you so there uh, it has it has that kind of abstraction um, and also it supports scaling uh, features and etc okay um with while light cell offers uh, auto scaling it may have limitations compared to ecs okay uh, you have to keep this in mind uh, especially in terms of scaling and customization options for larger and more complex applications okay so there's a limitation there and uh, coming to uh, pricing so if you click on um, three months free so you can see uh, you can go through the pricing and uh, uh, there are some of the basic servers available for uh, starting at 3.5 dollars um, per month um, you can choose uh, the cpu gpu uh, ssd hard disk um, and uh, data transfer okay um, okay so i think I'll, I'll paste this link in the description box below um so that you can go through the pricing and and stuff like that if you're in free tier, free tier then don't worry you can simply use the service and and create your own light cell containers or stuff like that uh, but if you're not in free tier then that's when you have to uh, look into the pricing and uh, learn more about it okay so that's the pricing and uh, if you're if you're coming to my videos uh, for the first time then please don't uh, forget to subscribe to my channel please uh, like my video and also share the videos um, i'll be making um, these aws videos uh, and if you look into my channel that will be helpful for you uh, if you want to learn something new from the aws okay um so without further ado, um, let's jump in. Um, so before jumping in, please do, don't forget to follow me on my LinkedIn. Uh, please uh, follow me on my GitHub. Um, and let's, yeah, let's jump into the video. Um, so go back to your uh, AWS management console. If you, have, if you haven't logged in yet, please log into your AWS console and click on the AWS light cell over here. If it is not displayed for you, just go ahead in the search box and simply type light cell. And that will take you to the uh, light cell environment. 
okay let's see how that's gonna look like all right um so as you can see on the left side on the menu uh, you can click on the containers here so we have no containers right now so this is what we are going to create um for our light sale and we will also use a docker image which is uh my docker image and i'm going to use this one for the demo and also you can use ecr from El uh, elastic container registry aws ec ecr you can grab your images and um and put it uh, for your and you can use it for your containers um uh, when you create your container okay uh, it's basically um it has to be public okay make sure it is a public repository otherwise you will have to give a necessary permissions to access your registry okay so this is my image that i'm going to use in this demo so let's go ahead and click on the create container service over here if you're not in the screen yet so click on the containers in the from the menu and click on the containers create container service you can see this is a container location so you can also change your region but uh, uh, this is my region so i would like to use us east one and then uh, choose your container service capacity um so basically uh, you'll have to choose the capacity that you want to use um so for the first three months it is three uh, it is free right okay you can use the nano or if you would like um you can use the nano that's totally fine uh, you can see your container service will cost seven dollars per month but when you click on micro first first three months for first three months it is free um so you can use a micro one if you want uh, if you want to test the uh, light sale containers okay so just click on uh, the uh, the one which you wanted um select that set up the first deployment select the deployment here you can use the predefined con uh, templates that you want uh, like I said, uh, they, these are the predefined uh, uh, templates uh, that you can use uh, to quickly get started. Like, for example, an uh, Nginx server, uh, Hello World application. You know, it's totally up to you if you want to use the example deployment. But I, I will, I'm going to choose the specific deployment because I'm going to use my own container, which is AXP. Uh, app. It's just a container name, so don't worry too much about it. Uh, so in the image section, copy the image tag copy the uh, docker image here and um, just paste the image over here so it's going to validate uh, whether it's a valid image or not so in my case it is a valid image so i'm going to use gomurli slash exp blah 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 okay um now in this case uh, my uh, image my docker image is exposed on port 80 so that's what i'm going to use here um so i'm going to add the open ports here which is 80 in in my case okay and then you might have to select this the container you need to choose the public endpoint must respond to the traffic so this is where you're going to choose the um, public endpoint um, and uh, you can see the default port is 80 and the health check is going to be on just slash and um, that's pretty much what um, the settings are it's see how easy it is how uh, pre pretty quickly you can create uh, your container without a um, lot of uh, frustration so you can see uh, the container service and you can see how we are going to build this okay it might take a few minutes to for your container service for available for use and if you scroll a bit top i just want to make sure that it is it is uh, i've selected the right one which is for free for three months and now i'm going to click on create container service as it says uh, it, it it might take um, some time for the deployment to complete um so it just started the deployment if you want to see the logs so click on this icon and click on the show details here and um, you can click on the open log this button this button will be enabled in some time and then you can open the log and see the logs and you can uh, see when the application deployment is complete okay um so expand this um so you're gonna wait for some time let's wait and then come back and see uh, if the deployment is complete or not so let's click on the uh, show details here and see if it is enabled yeah i click on the open log here so you should be able to see some logs um in the background so you can see the, it is start, it has started the deployment and um, it is trying to run a command which is uh, from my uh, docker image and let's wait for some time um so that it should be able to finish my uh, deployment and then we'll go ahead and see um, launch the URL. Okay, um, so let's wait for us wait for some time. And you can also see um, the deployment steps. Uh, five out of seven steps are completed, so you can wait, you can wait for, uh, for some time more. And you can see um, they're still deploying. 
so now that you can see um, this is now active and also you can see our status is running which is great and you can see the public domain over here now click on the domain and there you go that's my express app and i can see my uh, application which is running in the uh, light cell container okay so you've just seen how easy it is to uh, spin up a container in my light cell environment but when it compared to if you look into my other videos when you when it compares to the ECS, then it you will have to decide which cluster you will have to you will have to create a cluster. You will have to create which type of deployment you want. That is for basically for advanced users. But uh, for some for some people um, that might not be the best case. Um, if you want to run your personal website or something like that, then why not choose Lightcell because it is pretty easy to um, work with and uh, easy to use, and also it is scalable. So I believe that gives you um, a lot of information on how we can deploy a container service but also you can look into the aws cli where it discusses about uh, how can you use cli commands in order to um, create a container service for example if you click on create a container service you can see uh, the command where you can uh, create your container service and push your containers uh, deployments from your local machine um, I'm going to do that in a separate video probably um, and then um, you can also uh, going, going back to the light cell environment uh, you can also push your images and you can see uh, how you can push uh, you can also push your images uh, into the light cell uh, push your container images and then also you can create register a domain for your application as well and you can see some metrics uh, you can uh, see some metrics happening here within a one hour of time and also you can choose the time span uh, how you want to see the metrics okay um that's pretty much uh, what i want to discuss on uh, light sale environment all right um so make sure once you're done with this make sure you select this and delete it not just disabling don't just disable it it will incur the cost so you can come here and just delete the applicate delete the container service like so so just delete it in order to avoid any uh, charges okay so that's it that's pretty much um, what you want to do on containers and light sale so it's easy yeah um yeah and thank you uh, for watching this video and please don't forget to follow me on my github and linkedin and please don't forget to subscribe and like my video um and thank you so much i will see you guys in the next video